The Saints offense on the field ready. If I can complete some crazy shit in the clutch, I deserve to advance. Dropping back to pass. Okay. Okay. Fires deep. Toe tap. No, 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 no. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I hope you guys are ready for the New Orleans Saints rebuild. Before we start, I have about three things I need to address. Number one, I am possibly going to be doing a Derek Carr experiment in this video, mainly because there's a ton of speculation and a ton of rumors going around that Derek Carr may possibly be headed to the New Orleans Saints. He recently just worked out with the team and um, I'm kind of thinking about trying that out. Number two, sorry for the lack of videos lately, mainly because I have been sick. My voice sounds kind of raspy. The nasal congestion is kind of getting to me at the moment. Every now and then I'll be like, like halfway through the video and it's just not, not working out. So I kind of have to like lay low when it comes to videos a little bit. And uh, number three, I recently just reopened my store. I added a few hats in there. Uh, just for starters, I may add a little bit like shirts and later on, later on down the line. I just want to come up with different designs before I start making that because I just don't want one design with just a logo and stuff like that. But feel free to check that out. There's gonna be a link down in the description below. And oh my goodness, there's a lot of ands in this video. I'm so sorry. We are getting close to the ever coveted number 1,000 uh, when it comes to the subscriber mark. And I do plan on releasing a 1,000 subscriber video as long as we hit that milestone within the next the next couple of days. It's currently in the works. It's basically gonna be like an interview that I had meeting uh, Dirk Home and Zerk Clubber for the first time when I was in Chicago. It was a pretty funny interview. If you guys want to check that out, feel free to drop a like and subscribe. Help us get to the thousand mark so I could put it out. For you guys a little bit sooner now let's go ahead and jump into this rebuild man the new orleans saints um i kind of had to do a little bit of investigating on the side just to make sure these team ranks right here are correct and sure enough th they were uh because you know sometimes it'd be a little bit behind and whatnot but whatever um anyway so the new orleans saints on the season uh averaged about 19.4 points per game that put them in the back half of the nfl ranked 22nd so they weren't putting up a lot of points compared to other teams and that kind of was their downfall if you take a look at the standings on the right hand side right there they finished tied for second a three-way tie between the Panthers, Saints, and Falcons. And it was all a fight to the very, very end until the Buccaneers took it over. Um, anyway, when it came to their yards per game, they averaged about, what, 333 uh, per game, putting them in the middle tier of the NFL. Uh, when it came to their defensive statistics, right, uh, they allowed about 20.2 points per game, putting them in the top, almost top 10 in the NFL, which is kind of weird, right? Because the top 20 teams in the NFL are putting up about roughly 20 points a game so if you're in line with that it's going to be a lot of close one possession games obviously and going into their schedule and stuff like that i've seen that they had a lot of one possession games and if you were to turn those one possession games which was i believe six into wins instead of losses you're looking at six wins added to the total of seven so now you're 13 13 win team you're right behind the eagles i believe puts you second or third in the nfc and now you're in the playoffs now you don't have to worry about where you're gonna pick in the top 10 which i mean they don't even have a top 10 pick top 15 pick they recently just acquired the pick from the denver broncos i believe because sean payton ended up signing there as the head coach and they acquired it from the I think 49ers or something like that i can't remember but it's like the 30 something pick which they don't have which i'm gonna get for them um obviously and in the defensive side of things in yards per game they average about 313 i believe it was 313 i mean they were really really good against the pass but when it came to the rush they were not defending nothing nothing they're letting everything go through that thing is more wide open than I ain't gonna say, it. I ain't gonna say, it. but let's go ahead and get started, man. Let's go ahead and check out the statistics for this New Orleans Saints team right here. Uh, they were 19th in offensive yards, as you guys can see, or as I already addressed, and sixth in total defense. Okay, cool. Their quarterback for the majority of the season, Andy Dalton, had uh, almost 3,000 yards on the season, 18 touchdowns, nine interceptions, with a 66% completion percentage. Okay, 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 pretty good, pretty good. Alvin Kamara finished with almost 900 yards on the season with two touchdowns. We gotta pick that production up. I don't know if that had to do with him getting injured. I think he did get injured. I know a lot. I know a little about a lot of different teams. And sometimes, you know, when it comes to players being hurt, I don't know about that kind of stuff sometimes. I know mostly about like statistics and how they perform in games and stuff like that. But in terms of like why they didn't perform the way they did throughout the whole season, um, that's some stuff I don't know. But if you ask me about Steelers, definitely I will tell you guys. Definitely know everything about the Pittsburgh Steelers. Um, 
The second leader rusher was, well, Tyson Hill, which, I mean, he does pretty much everything for the New Orleans Saints. Throws the ball, runs the ball, and even catches the ball, too. Receiving, we do have Chris Olave at 1,000 yards. A great rookie season from Chris Olave, man. He produced a lot for this team despite having the quarterback troubles that they have with Andy Dalton and James Winston, I believe, who went down in like week four, week three, or something like that, which is kind of unfortunate. We have uh, Jawan Johnson, the next leading receiver at 508. Hopefully we can increase some production somewhere in there because we need somebody like at 800, 900 yards to help us out in total. But he did have seven uh, receiving touchdowns on the season, which is actually pretty cool. Is Tyson Hill here? Is he? If he is, he's probably at the bottom. He's not here, unfortunately, unless I completely missed it. But anyway, on defense, the top three in tackles we had, uh, of course, Demario Davis, one of the most elite linebackers in the league, one of the most consistent linebackers in the league for the last few years. 109 tackles on the season. Tyron Matthew had 91, and Pete Warner had 80. Pete Warner is actually a pretty good linebacker. I mean, when I played him with my Pittsburgh Steelers team, he's, pff, he flies all over the field for some reason in simulation. I don't know why. I don't know why. Uh, interception on the season. Uh, we only have four people who had interceptions. We had Tyron Matthew at three, uh, Daniel Swanson with two, uh, Demario Davis with one, and Marshawn Lattimore with one. Sacks on the season. Okay, everybody had sacks. So I'm only going to give you guys the top five, top five only, okay? We have Kevin Jordan at eight and a half, um, Caden Ellis at seven, uh, Demario Davis at six and a half, uh, Carl Granderson had five and a half, and I'm going to call you David because I don't want to butcher that last name at five. Where was Davenport? Did I think Davenport get hurt too? I mean, he only had 29. I think he did. I'm going to say he did. He probably didn't. Saints fans are probably like, oh, my God, you don't know your stuff. Like, why are you even doing my team? Which, I don't know. OK, sometimes sometimes I just don't want to look up who got hurt. <laughs> you know what I mean? Uh, whoopsie. Uh, anyway, so that's going to be pretty much it for that. Um, obviously, the Kansas City Chiefs ended up winning the Super Bowl. I already had that part sorted out right there as they ended up winning 35 20. That was oddly close to what the score was in real life, too. That's pretty funny. And let's check out the season recap. As you guys already know, this is pretty much going to be the same from what it was in real life. So Kansas City Chiefs, Super Bowl champion Patrick Mahomes, Super Bowl MVP, same there. NFL MVP, pretty much everything the same. Patrick Mahomes, Nick Sirianni. I think it was uh, Justin Jefferson who ended up getting Offensive Player of the Year. Nick Bosa, Defensive Player of the Year. Kenneth Walker actually had more first place votes, but he ended up losing to Sauce Gardner, I think, overall in total points. And not, not, um, not, um, not Sauce Garner to uh, Garrett Wilson, and then Sauce Garner ended up taking Defensive Rookie of the Year, both of them from the uh, New York Jets. With that being said, I'm going to go ahead and figure out the whole staffing situation. I'll see you guys at the end of free agency. All right, so here we are at the end of free agency, and I have to address, I had to address a few things in this year's free agency. We lost to Mario Davis to retirement, obviously, and we did also lose Kevin Jordan two really big pieces on the defensive side of the ball that we now have to replace going into free agency and the NFL draft. Now, we had money to spend, but I kind of want to save it going into next year's free agency just in case the Derek Carr experiment doesn't end up working out for us. So if you take a look at our recap and who we signed, we didn't do a lot of big splashy signings this time around because I want to save it for next year. We signed Bobby Okiriki to be able to secure the middle so we have a middle linebacker going into the next few years which is funny because I just recently did the Indianapolis Colts rebuild. If you guys haven't already checked that one out, feel free to pause this video right here and go check it out, man, because it was kind of a banger. It was the first time we went 17-0 in Madden 2023 in simulation, which is kind of funny because we should have done it when we did the All-Star one. But anyway, we signed a kicker, Evan McPherson, because uh, we need a really good kicker, and he's young and he's a superstar. So I was like, fuck it, full send it. Um, we we signed our tip punter, obviously, because we need a punter. And we brought Derek Carr to the team. We ended up signing him on a really cheap deal, mainly because I had to force the Raiders to release him. So in order to do that, you have to switch him to a punter, have him release him, and then sign him because he's already dirt cheap anyway. So uh, we brought him to the squad, and hopefully it works out. If not, we're going to have to address the quarterback uh, position going into next year. Now, let's go ahead and jump into the NFL draft, which I'm kind of prepared for. I ended up trading that 29th pick to us, so we have the 29th pick now. Was it 29 or 30? I think it was one of those two. 32? It's not 32. 31? Was it 31? You know what? We we have a pick now. That's all that matters. It's at the back end of the draft, so it's not cheating or anything in the top 10 or anything like that. Okay? Okay, let it be. Let it be for this one, okay? I may have fluffed it a little bit, and it should have probably been 31, but it's not. Whatever. Uh, so we're going to go ahead and skip... And we're gonna go ahead and skip to our user pick because there's no point in trying to trade up because I, I don't see a need in trading up in this year's draft so what we're gonna do is pause it you need to slow down your roll timer up top right there trying to make me pick as fast as possible hell no so since we did lose um 
Cameron Jordan. We have to be able to fill that role at the defensive line position or a defensive lineman just in general. One of the guys that I do have in my senior franchise that I know is really, really talented is Gervin Dexter Sr. Now, this is going to be the pick for the first round because he is projected to go in the first round in real life also or in the beginning of the very second round, which is, out of, which is pretty cool because he's out of Florida and he's going to be able to produce for us right away. Now, he could either start at that D tackle position or I could fill up that left and for some with somebody else you know what i mean because i was trying to sign yannick and gawkway but the colts were like nah we want him back i was like bro come on you should have just resigned him anyway um so now let's go ahead and skip to our next user pick who i have somebody in mind already because when you look at our offensive line there's one flaw and that flaw is going to be the left guard position and nolan smith is still here actually hmm we don't need jordan battle because we already have marcus may and who's our other safety on the other side? Oh, Tyron Matthew, obviously the Honey Badger, which is kind of funny because I used to have an account um, in like Clash of Clans and stuff like that, which was called the Honey Badger because I named it after Tyron Matthew because that was pretty cool. I believe Nolan Smith is going to be our pick here. He is a linebacker that's also projected to go in the top 10, top 15. But in this case, whoever made this um, draft class here just doesn't have him in the top 10, top 15. So he's going to be our pick for this one. And I may potentially move him to the left outside linebacker, mainly because Pete Warner's already our right linebacker, and I just want him to start be able to get some reps and whatnot, as he's gonna be a normal development trait, which kind of sucks, but you know, I, I digress. So let's go ahead and jump into our next pick. And this is the pick that we are gonna address that left guard position. And I already know who I want here. And it's gonna be the man out of, I believe, Coastal Carolina, if he's still here, because I had him marked uh God, scott jr no is he still here or did we lose him lampkin yes sir yes sir and please don't bag me for this i had already recorded this before <laughs> so i kind of already know who to draft and whatnot because it was so upsetting it's really really upsetting so i had my saints video recorded ready to go we ended up winning the super bowl in the second year with jalen hurts i was so happy i was like yes this is a great video talking perfect no allergies nothing bothering me and then i realized wait a minute i think my brother was on my computer because my mic did not pick up any sound whatsoever when i was editing i was like Bit. Nah. <laughs> i was kind of upset man i was really really upset so i was like damn now i have to re-record this again but now i already have the knowledge of who to pick up to help us out in this draft so that's pretty much it for right now i'm not going to do the fourth fifth sixth anything around like that we're just to save that for next year and i'll see you guys at the start of season number two so here we are at the start of season number two so i'm pretty excited with what our team looks like having to replace uh cameron jordan and demario davis and whatnot um so this is going to be our offense for this season we have Derek carr oh this is going to be the Derek carr experiment for year number two you got to be able to produce my guy because if you don't you gonzies you gonzies i got other quarterbacks lined up ready to go next season if you can't perform my guy our offensive line is pretty talented i mean they're all stars hopefully they all progress to like 80s because i know uh ruiz needs to go up a little bit mccoy is cool and penning i know he had like a little bit of an office season last season because he was a rookie he was a rookie give him the benefit of the doubt hopefully he's able to progress a little bit Jawan johnson is also a star too he is 25 and hopefully he's able to progress this season chris Olave, second year out of uh, ohio state just produce my guy you're 85 overall you're here to replace michael thomas because my boy wanted too much money so we had to let him go we had to let him go unfortunately which kind of sucks and i wasn't gonna bring back jarvis landry because why wait these this wide receiving core right here is pretty talented and like i said this is already my second time doing the new orleans saints rebuild because i have fucked up the first one anyway uh with no sound so these receivers already perform regardless i was like okay cool now i know that i don't have to resign them and it didn't create any else anyway so our defense phenomenal i ended up using our uh hidden development trait review i guess from the head coach that we have on gervin dexter senior superstar i like it i like it a lot i like it a lot um our linebacking core is pretty cool we have nolan smith at the left outside linebacker instead of the right because we have pete warner there and um, cornerbacks are already pretty cool i, I placed debo at the second cornerback slot mainly because he's a star and if he develops there's really no point in having a roby there anyway kicker punter specialist pretty much all the same people that you guys see on defense with that being said i'll see you guys at the end of season number two let's get it all right cool so i'm pretty excited i'm pretty sure we should make the playoffs i mean 
like I said, the NFC South isn't the greatest right now because everybody needs a quarterback at the moment, right? The Buccaneers lost Tom Brady. The Panthers are kind of struggling with the quarterback at the moment. Uh, before I get to that, the Atlanta Falcons, they have a developing Desmond Ritter. I like Desmond Ritter, though. He's pretty cool. He's pretty cool. But, you know, he still needs to develop as well. As you guys see, we ended up making the playoffs. We are facing the Los Angeles Rams as we finished second in our division against the... Who do the Buccaneers have that caused us to not get the first seed? Now I'm curious because who did they sign? Like what, Geno Smith or something? Like there's definitely no way. Who, Daniel Jones? Okay, I was about to say Tristan Wharf. Boy, how is Tom Brady still in the game? Y'all need to stop. Boy, should have retired already. Oh, they have two on the Bailoa. Wait, wait a minute. Wait, 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 whoa, 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 whoa. Pause, 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 pause. No, they, they don't have two on the Bailoa. That's Tulia, Tulia, right? I think, I think that's how you say his name. Fuck, I'm so sorry if I butcher names, man. Because I'm not really great with names. I mean, I'm great with faces. I can recognize faces, but I cannot recognize or say names. Yeah, that's Tulia. Yeah, okay. I was about to say they have Tua. Hell no, that's crazy. Okay, so let's go ahead and check out the playoff bracket first, and then we'll get into uh, statistics, and then we'll jump into the game. So we ended up finishing. We are sixth. Okay, I mean, it is the Los Angeles Rams. They do have Cooper Cup. They do have Aaron Donald. So this is gonna be a pretty tough fight. As the uh, Philadelphia Eagles ended up finishing fifth this season, right behind the Dallas Cowboys, which is a fluke because it should be the Eagles, not the Dallas Cowboys. Anyway, if you guys see your team there, root for them, root for them. Don't root for me. Let me try to win my games, all right? Root for your team, see if your team ends up winning the Super Bowl. And if they do, feel free to drop a like, though. Feel free to drop a like. Yo, help me out. Help me out a lot. A ton, tons. We were 21st in total offense and in defense. We were, go ahead. 22nd okay so we're in the back half of the nfl but somehow we are able to make a playoffs Derek carr had 20 4200 yards on the season 32 touchdowns 11 interception okay 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 a 64 percent completion percentage alvin Kamara had 1200 yards on the season almost 1300 17 touchdowns one fumble i don't need those fumbles but i mean it was one it was not like it was like three four or five or anything like that with 40 broken tackles on top of that okay you know benjamin had 402 himself okay 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 Receiving, we had 2,000 yard receivers in Chris Olave with 93 receptions at 1,300 yards, and then Deontay Hardy with 80 receptions and 1,000 yards. Traquan Smith was almost there too, and this is without being in the spread system, which I might have to convert to because spread is actually a lot better when it comes to Madden 23 simulation. Anyway, 10 touchdowns for Olave, 7 for Traquan Smith, Juwan Johnson had 7, and Deontay Hardy had 5. Top, damn, okay, damn, great signing for me right there. Look at that. Bobby Okiriki had 125 tackles. Pete Warner had 123. Okay, and okay, Diva. Okay, I told you the star development trade, baby. Let's get it. Let's get it. Top three in interceptions. We have Marcus May, Marshawn Lattimore, and Bobby Okiriki at 4, 4, and 3. Top three in sacks, we have Marcus Davenport. Okay, okay. I ended up moving him to the left end position because, you know, Jordan, uh, Cameron Jordan is no longer here. Uh, Carl Granderson had seven. Gervin Dexter Sr. had five and a half. Okay, that's cool. That's cool. He's a he's a rookie at the detox position. So I don't expect him to do anything too crazy on the inside because he is no Aaron Donald. You know, you, you know what I mean? You know what I mean? Um, hold on. Let me. I did forget to make that adjustment. Actually, we have all of these talented receivers. We should have been in the spread. That is my fault. That is my fault. We're in the multiple power run. No, no 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 what is the best one for us all right we'll run spread cool four three okay we'll stay in the fourth three. i was about to say damn we should run the three four and we should run the three four whoopsie i mean we're pretty cool we're pretty cool i feel like we have a shot to be able to advance to the next round now i wouldn't be too upset if we don't make it because like i said this is gonna be a uh Derek carr experiment and i am relying on Derek Carr to be able to advance us when it comes playoff time okay Gervin Dexter senior ability unlocked I like it I like it a lot I like it a lot as we ended up losing to the Atlanta Falcons the last game of the season which kind of sucks um and Tom Brady had the most passing yards at age 46 goddamn it's crazy bro like he shouldn't even be doing that man man dude that's ridiculous why is he still in the game just retire man you're 46 like stop stop all right let's go ahead and jump into this game against the los angeles rams and i'll see you guys there welcome to beautiful sofi stadium as we're just here to eliminate the los angeles rams because for some reason they're here hey Derek Carr, show them what's up show them why the las vegas should not have released you look at bobby okiriki wasn't demario davis number 58 I'm having, I'm having to think in my head. I was like, I'm sure DeMario Davis was number 58. So he's trying to replace DeMario Davis. 
And Jalen Ramsey might not even be on the Rams next year anyway, because I know the Steelers are trying to trade for him. Hopefully they trade for him, which I think would be a mistake, mainly because why pick up somebody like Jalen Ramsey, throw first round picks at him when we could actually draft a cornerback and develop him for the next four years instead of having to pay somebody a huge sum of money? It doesn't make any sense. It doesn't make any sense if you ask me. All right, all right, all right. Okay, Bobby Wagner. Ain't nobody care about all this. I'm going to simulate this. Okay, he's jumping around, ready to go. His arms are see-through, which is kind of weird for Madden. But anyway, let's get this. Let's get this next quarter. Come on. Get the stop. Get the stop. Tutty. 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 Yes, sir. 7-3. 7-3. That's what I love to see. Second and four ball at the 34-yard line. The New Orleans Saints are up. Who that nation, baby? Who that said they're going to beat them? Okay, we need, to, we need to, like, chill out. We need to, like, chill out. Put up some points on the ball. Okay, we get the ball going into this half. If we're able to put up a touchdown, 21-17. We're up four. We can generate a stop put up another touchdown if we're able to do that we'd be perfectly fine we'd be perfectly fine we have Derek Carr. we have great receivers or which is not do that and give up uh, we gave up a field goal it's not too bad not too bad oh this is not great it's not great we need to change the possession here slow it down interception bobby okariki let's go bought the 19 yard line oh hold on i want to jump into this i'm sorry i'm sorry i'm sorry jumping in jumping jumping in come on Derek, oh, I kind of thought the ball was on the other side of the field. Why did it do that? Why? Okay, never mind, never mind. I'll, I'll probably do it, a change of possession or something. Derek Carr in the gun, dropping back to pass. Fires over the middle. Fires Jawan Johnson for a five-yard gain. Okay, you know what? That's cool and all, but this is not the end of the game, and I prefer the end of the game moments because even the shadows are kind of messing up with the light. So, come on, Derek Carr, lead him down the field, please. That That is not... that. Is, no. No, Derek. Bro, you're choking right now. No, we don't need that. Change of possession, please. I mean, I'll, I'll take a field goal, but that's not what we need at the moment. We really don't. Like, can I get a change of possession? Slow it down here. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Touchdown. 24-23. Let's go. Hey, we're jumping in now. We're jumping in. We're jumping in. We got to see this defensive stop that we're about to put up right now. We're about to see this defensive stop. Let's go. All right. Let me go to the next play. Make sure I don't mess anything up. Okay. We have Matthew Stafford in the gun. Right, first and ten ball at the 22 yard line. He's in the gun, like I said, jumbo to the right, dropping back to pass, fires over the middle, finds Cooper Cup. All right, big hit right there. Let's go. Is that P Warner? I think that's P Warner number 30. Isn't P Warner like number 10 or something like that? Anyway, whatever. Okay, Bobby Okiriki with the little neck brace. I see that. I see that. Okay, second and six ball at the 26 yard line. Matthew Stafford under gun is doubles to both right and left side of the field. Is that Cam Akers in the backfield right there? I think that is. Snaps it, dropping back to pass, fires. Oh, he finds. Cooper Cup for a first down. Okay, we can't have that. We cannot have that team. Come on. We got to be able to generate these stops. When we have a good defense, we have good corners, we have good everything. All right, we have Matthew Stafford in the gun. Right? First and 10. Ball at the 32 yard line. Drops. Fires over the middle. Oh, Marshawn. You have to intercept that. You have to intercept that. Oh, he just went right there, buddy. Let's go. All right, Matthew Stafford back in the gun. Second and 10. Two in the backfield. Dropping back to pass. Looking over the middle. Fires. Marshawn Lattimore. Hell no, get that out of here, baby. Third and ten. Third and ten. Let's go. One more stop. Uh, unless they punt it, but I mean they have three timeouts. They should they should punt it, right? Alright, anyway. Matthew Stafford dropping back to pass. Come on, we need to generate some pressure. No, nobody's getting there. Fires over the middle. We need to stop. Bobby Okiriki. Let's go. Fourth and seven. Please do not go for it. Just punt it away. Punt it away. Punt it away. I'm gonna have to look look at the player, right? Just in case they go for it. Okay, they're punting, they're punting, they're punting. Let's go. Let's go. Derek Carr, please. One first down puts this game away. That's all we need. That's all we need. And we advance to the next round. Fair catch that, please. Okay, Deontay Hardy. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I like you. I like you. Derek Carr, he said, yes, sir. This ain't the Las Vegas Raiders. We winning out here. <laughs> That's what he said that. He said that. He said that. Jump in the next play. We have Devin Carr under center. We have one of the better lines in the NFL. We have Alvin Kamara in the backfield. Hands it off to Kamara. Kamara running. He looks like he's jogging like he always does. But somehow still running really, really fast. <laughs> anyway, Alvin Kamara has 128 yards rushing on the day. Second and eight. Derek Carr in the gun. I don't know if this is going to be a little handoff, little inside zone action. But hopefully it is. No, please don't snap the ball. Don't snap the ball. We're going into the two-minute warning. Please stop. Stop. What are we doing? What are we doing? Fires over the middle. Okay, I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, mm -hmm. Kind of wish he got the first down, but you know what? It's actually a good thing because it is the two minute warning. We just do a little QB sneak, little Alvin Kamara action, get the first down. That's actually pretty good. It's actually pretty good. They do have timeout, so they could stop it if they really, really wanted to. Can we just do a QB sneak, please? Can we not do some bullshit ass like dive play and they get stopped by Aaron Donald up the middle? 
Okay, thank you. <laughs> I was about to say, hell no. Nah. 30 inches first down for the New Orleans Saints. Let's get a Huda Nation. We about to advance right now. We about to advance. I'm sorry. This part's kind of long because I wanted to actually see this type of action right here. This is why we came, right? This is why we came for these rebuilds to watch. Alvin Kamara takes the handoff. Two hands on the ball. That's what I like to see right there. Ends up picking up two yards. Ball at the 42-yard line timeout from the Los Angeles Rams. Which we don't care because we're just going to advance to the next play anyway. All right, we have Bobby Wagner stepping up, showing blitz. I'm pretty sure this is going to be a blitz because it's going to be a handoff anyway. Breeze the blitz. Nobody. Oh, my goodness. Jesus Christ. Aaron Donald just burst through the line, burst the bubble and everything like that. So the Rams have no timeouts. So if we get the first down, that's ball game. Derek Carr, please do not Derek Carr and throw an interception. Please. This might just be an inside handoff. No, it isn't. Over the middle. Fire through it. Fires the ball. Makes the catch. What are we doing? Oh. <sighs> Did he step out of bounds? He's did he step out of bounds? Oh, if he had thrown it a lot earlier, that was a first down. That is not the move. That is definitely not the move. I'm gonna fast this next play because I just don't want to see a punt. All right, ball at the 20 yard line, dude. That is ridiculous. What are we doing? What are we doing? Like, anyway. All right, Matthew Stafford in the gun. First and 10, ball at the 20-yard line. A minute and 23 to go. I have no idea why we didn't just, like, throw it a lot sooner. We have to generate pressure. Nobody's generating pressure. Throws the ball to the outside complete, right? Oh, come on. First and 10. First and 10, ball at the 37-yard line. This cannot be this easy. Come on, D. We have to step up. Step up in the clutch. Please eliminate these Rams. I don't want to see these Rams advance right now. Fires it over the middle. Come on. Mid tackle inbounds. Clock's running. Clock's running. Come on. Great tackle. Great tackle inbound. That's going to be accelerated clock, right? That's accelerated clock. Come on. Keep that clock going. Tick, tick, tick. Come on. Make us play inbounds. Make a play inbounds. Please. Don't don't let him catch that. Don't let him run out of bounds. Okay. Good hit. Good hit. Oh, fuck. Oh, clock's going to be ticking. Clock. Then, why is it doing that? See, now it's like, okay. Damn it, dude. This is ridiculous. Like, if we stop them, there should be accelerated clock. There's no way they get the field goal unit out there in space. There's no way. Throws it over the middle. Makes the tackle. Okay, ball at the 38 yard line. That's roughly a 53 yard attempt, right? No huddle, six minute runoff. So, damn, nah, dude. More time should be running out than this. Like, I don't. Oh, dude, come on. Somebody get a sack. Somebody generate a sack, please. You got to be kidding me, bro. You got to be kidding me. Come on, bro. If I would have taken over, we would have... Now, I'm not going to take over, though. There's no point for me to take over. If you guys run the ball, that's a huge mistake. Clock's ticking. There's no way you guys get this off. Hold on. I'm not going to I'm not gonna let this slide. Hell no. Nah. <laughs> I'm going to do the field goal attempt. Clock's ticking. Hmm, hmm, <laughs> Hmm, hmm. Time out. Ah, you guys thought. You guys thought I was going to let that take away, huh? Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. I'm coming. I'm coming. Come on. Come on, Taylor. Come on, Taylor, for the block. For the block. Go. 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 You are kidding me. How do they choke so bad? I could have taken over in that possession and actually won the game for us. But I'm not going to do that because, no. Let's make the playoffs. Let's make the Super Bowl first. I would take over here with seven seconds left. If I could throw up a Hail Mary heave, that'd be great. No, no, no. Let the ball go in the end zone. Okay, cool, cool, cool. I'll take that. I'll take that. I'll take that. Oh, my. No, we're not going to set up for Hail Mary because then I'm going to run cover three. That's not what we're going to do. We're going to do this instead. If I can complete some crazy shit in the clutch, I deserve to advance. Dropping back to pass. Okay. Okay. Fires deep. Toe tap. No. 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 Oh, my God. What? What kind of bullshit? Oh, hell no. Oh, my God. <laughs> what? Stop it. Stop it. We will. Oh, my God. Dude, what the fuck? <laughs> what a play at the end of the game for him to not step out of bounds and secure this game for us. That was ridiculous. As we lose to the Los Angeles Rams 26 to 24, our defense did not step up in the clutch. That's not what we needed, man. We needed a clutch stop at the end of the ball game right there. I have no idea why our team decided to pass and what pass play came out of that was ridiculous. We should have done something else or even run the ball. 
but whatever whatever things happen i guess as we can go ahead and sim to the super bowl because none of this matters to us anymore Dude, come on come on that's so stupid like if he just stepped out of bounds at the field goal attempt and we just watched the field goal attempt and i'm not gonna do anything from there because that would have been funny that would have been funny if we missed or made it because like the deep pass that i got that was ridiculous that was ridiculous i can't i can't believe that happened i'm going for the los angeles chargers here hopefully the chargers get it i have no idea who we need to resign but damn we have 84 middle work with holy shit okay okay that's cool that's good is our staff up to par are we cool with our staff okay that's cool so what i'm gonna end up doing here is actually boosting this all the way up because if i could try to get jalen hurts again like i did in my last saints video before i had no audio if you guys skip to this part of the video then i'm gonna try to get jalen hurts again because he helped us win a ton of games and we we won in like blowout fashion too so if we can end up doing that that'd be great for us that'd be great for us give me that okay 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 I mean, granted, I should have boosted up all of those other stats, but nah, nah, I just, I'm just not going to do that. Derek Carr did phenomenal for us, but I have no idea if that was really the move. Let's go ahead and check out the recap, and then I'll see you guys at the end of free agency, okay? So, the Green Bay Packers end up winning the Super Bowl 38-35. to Aaron Rodgers, Super Bowl MVP. Joe Pearl, NFL MVP. Uh, Brandon Staley, Coach of the Year. Cooper Cup, Offensive Player of the Year. Brian Burns, Defensive Player of the Year. Jalen Hyatt, Offensive Rookie. And Defensive Rookie of the Year is John Stevenson from the Chicago Bears. Okay, 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 okay. And with that being said, I'll see you guys at the end of free agency. Let me tell you, it did not turn out how I wanted it to go. Um, Cause like I said, I've recorded this before. I already know who's in this year's free agency to be able to sign, to be able to help us out in the next year, this coming year. And in the last one, the previous Saints video I recorded, I picked up Jalen Hurts. The reason for that was mainly because there are those like things going around where he's demanding anywhere between $45 million or anywhere north of that. And if the Eagles are unable to pay him, then he probably will end up going somewhere else to a team that will have him or will get him. So in order to make up for not being able to pick him up this time around, I ended up picking up the next best option to replace what Jalen Hurts could be if he ended up coming here, which it wouldn't make any sense. But the fact that I'm telling you guys this now, you guys are able to understand why I did what I did. So, right, like, okay, let, let, this, let this simulate to this coming season. So Jalen Hurts is roughly around like an 80, like a 91 overall at this point, I believe. Um, so I ended up picking up Justin Herbert right if the Chargers don't pay justin herbert i well, might as well just let him walk right but obviously they're going to pay him justin herbert is just a replacement for jalen hurts if jalen hurts was to walk in free agency and the new orleans saints were able to sign him so just pre just pretend this is jalen hurts okay just pretend it's jalen hurts we ended up picking up jordan brooks for some reason i have no idea why the seattle seahawks did not sign him i ended up signing him and then i moved okiri key to the left outside linebacker so nolan smith can develop on both sides of the ball so i can put him on the right outside linebacker and left outside linebacker i picked up isaiah oliver just to have another uh cornerback to help us out and just get depth as you guys seen on the right hand side right there we really had no money to spend we had 180k left after all of that after all of that money spending and thankfully um justin herbert came here without any like hesitation or anything like that he just jumped at the chance i was like okay cool might as well come over boosted our uh stats a little bit right there helped us out a ton and let's go ahead and jump into this nfl draft right now we currently hold the 24th pick because why not because i traded <laughs> i traded it i traded for it. i'm not gonna lie to you guys i ended up giving our um pick what is it from this year to the Bengals in exchange for two first round picks doesn't make any sense whatsoever but i took a stab at it and i ended up getting him anyway as uh, Van Dyke ends up going to the Chicago Bears at the quarterback position, which wouldn't make any sense because they have Justin Fields, but let's not worry about that too much, okay? Let's go ahead and just skip to our pick and worry about who we are gonna select, all right? Um, so we need like a left end, right? We have Brockermeyer. We don't need like wide receivers. Our receivers are talented already. We may need a strong safety to back up the both safety positions because I know at the moment um, Tyron Matthew doesn't have a backup. Marvin Harrison Jr. would be a guy I would love to have on this team. I ended up picking him up in my first attempt at a Saints rebuild, but he didn't do much for us, and there was really no point because of the receivers that we have already. Um, 
we don't need any guards we don't need anything like that maybe like cedric johnson but your stats are kind of doo-doo i ain't gonna lie devonta smith why is devonta smith here he's a free safety it's so weird to have a name like that and i keep thinking it's the wide receiver but it's not um right end who do we need left tackle we don't need anybody at the line right now we just don't tight end maybe a backup tight end i don't see it having a backup tight end though we have german uh dexter senior though i don't know maybe a backup right guard just to give us depth i mean we may who, how good are the tight ends right now Kion zipper i mean your second round potential so i don't even feel like picking you up right now this guy which i mean you don't have a name so i don't feel like give, picking you up for no reason um i'm not gonna try to say this name i'm gonna butcher it so bad why is there like no studs or anything like I mean, what if i get like a linebacker and end up moving them to that position can i just take take the best available i mean this guy's damn i see all those a's you're coming to my squad i don't care if you're not good <laughs> i see a's <laughs> so you're coming here okay i'm gonna move you to the right end position and nobody can say otherwise okay 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 so i'm gonna skip to the end of the draft and i'll see you guys at the start of season number three okay so here we are with the third and final season i'm already excited man this team is built to go we have the starting quarterback to be able to help us out sorry the Derek carr experiment didn't work out i kind of wanted him to be able to be here but a 74 overall quarterback really ain't gonna do much just being honest that's just me being honest and how madden 2023 works definitely could be the route that they go in real life you know be able to, able to sign up for the multiple years because you know he's actually gonna be able to perform with like an offensive line and stuff like that but a 74 in simulation just isn't gonna do it um our defense looking pretty talented tyron matthew is a superstar x factor now Gervin dexter senior went down to a star which is pretty cool because that's where he should be anyway to start off uh marshall Lattimore is right here but we're gonna start a debo still because he still a star and he showed what he can do isaiah oliver is going to be backing up that position and we have nolan smith backing up every possible position on the defensive side of the ball just just because just because why not let it fly you know what i mean our kickers are still here uh, and this is going to be our specialist man hopefully they're able to generate some pressure get some sacks and whatnot what if i put uh granderson right there i think that'd be pretty cool slot still gonna be chris olave and all that good stuff and i feel like we should be in a really good standing our overall is pretty good we have a good quarterback and we should be able to advance to the playoffs maybe first round by potentially or something like that man with that being said i'll see you guys at the end of season number three all right here we are coming up to the end of season number three hopefully we're actually able to perform and actually win some ball games there's no reason why we should have an elite quarterback and not win games dude that's gonna be really rough okay so we ended up finishing 10 and 7 not too bad we're gonna have to end up facing the carolina panthers oh my god we're gonna have to face a division rival in the playoffs who is their starting quarterback do they want some of this though that's the real question because our defense is pretty solid Ooh. dj Uwe Ungalale. oh my god it's gonna be dj Uwe Ungalale from clemson to uh, where does he go where do you go now to uh oregon state and now to the carolina now he's back is clemson in the carolinas i think it is i'm gonna say it is i'm gonna say it is i don't know about the ge geography of teams but i know that it's somewhere in that area right somewhere in that area now let's give us a little boosty boost and upgrade all of our players because you're not gonna stand a chance when all of us are upgraded we ended up beating the falcons 52 to 23 what is we average about 29 points per game okay they do also average that also offensive rank we are second defensive rank we are 20th oh it's, it's gonna be a defensive battle it's gonna be a defensive battle for sure for sure for sure for sure let's go ahead and check out these standings we should at least be in the top okay the new york football giants are number one i don't know man if we can beat the saints we'd have to face like the eagles or something huh damn that'd be rough this is gonna be a rough this is gonna be a rough journey rough journey definitely to the bowl man this is gonna be a rough one make sure all of our staff is all good all maxed out all that fun stuff being able to win these ball games yes sir we all maxed out mm-hmm mm-hmm mm -hmm. yes sir we're ready to go let's go ahead and check out the stats <laughs> i hate it i hate how I forget, what is his name is his name like nelson van dyke or something like that jordan van dyke i hate how his name is just entirely bleeped out in this game it's just so funny to look at let's go ahead and check out these stats and awards we finished second in offense i mean that's when you got justin herbert you're gonna finish second in offense you know what i mean you know what i mean 
4,800 yards passing, 37 touchdowns, 11 interceptions, 64% completion percentage. Alvin Kamara, another 1,000-yard season, 1,400 yards, 14 touchdowns. Johnny Gunther out of Alabama, uh, eight rushing touchdowns on that end. So I ended up moving. I have no idea why Tyson Hill is a quarterback in this game. I think he was a tight end to start. Are they labeled him as a tight end? That's what I ended up doing anyway. So now he's a tight end. He's actually able to go out there and catch some passes. So um, we have 2,000 yard receivers. Chris Olave. Huh. I put him in the slot and everything, and he finished under these two. Okay. We had 2,000 yard receivers. Okay. Deontay Hardy with 1,200 and Trey Quan Smith with 1,000. Okay. I thought he was hurt for a second. Chris Olave had 956, and Jawan Johnson had 904. Okay. We we're passing the ball a lot. The top three in touchdowns, we have Deontay Hardy. Juwan Johnson and Chris Olave. Okay, okay, okay. Defense top three. Oh, this is gonna be interesting. Hey, look at our defense, bro. Look at our defense, bro. We go today. Right Jordan Brooks 113. Uh, Paul Santa Debo 111. This boy, you should progress. You should be better than a 74, 75, bro. Bobby Okiriki 111. Dude, we are goaded, bro. That is crazy. Top three in interceptions. We had Marshawn Lattimore four, Adebo two. Bobby Okiriki, two. Sacks on the season. We had 11 from Gervin Dexter Sr. And nine and a half from Marcus Davenport. And Carl Granderson had four and a half. Okay, cool. Cool. I'm pretty excited. This team should be able to win it all. Just like I did with the other, just like I did with the other uh, Saints recording. We should be able to pull it off. And we're going to be away. In the other recording, I was actually home for the majority of the games. But this time, we're going to be away. We're going to be able to pull it off, man. I'll see you guys in the game. Let's go, baby. We have a long way to go. It's going to be overcast day here in Carolina, baby. We're going to pull this off, man. Look at my boy Justin Herbert doing a little shimmy shake dance. He said we're about to win this, and definitely we are. We are. We put up 30 points. There's no reason why the Carolina Panthers upset us in any which way, shape, or form as they drive down nonchalant and put up some points on the board. We got to respond with a tutty. Come on now. Come on now. Let's go. Let's go. 7-7. Seven, seven. Can, we, can we go up? Can we go up? Come on. Justin. Justin, put it in. Pause. Pause. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. Pause. Hold on. I didn't. I didn't mean it like that. As we are currently up 24-14, if we can put up another touchdown, it pretty much be wraps. There's no way they they overturn a 10 point deficit, right? Okay, they might just overturn a 10 point deficit. Oh shit. Oh shit. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. Slow it down. It's currently 28 to 20 seconds. Do I jump in? I'll jump in under 30 seconds. How about that? How about that? Because I want to be, you know, up in the in the likes of Wimmer. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to, okay. Ball at the 18-yard line. We have a long way to go, man. All right, Justin Herbert back in the gun. Throws it over the middle. What kind of short shenanigan shit is this? Oh, my. We got to go deep. Bro, don't make me don't make me jump in. Because I will jump in. Just whack, You know what I mean? Over the top. Justin, please. Please. Drop him back to pass. Justin Herbert, look at Look at Fires deep. Toe tap. Bro, I'm stepping in. Ain't no bullshit. We ain't gonna do none of that. We ain't gonna do none of that out here. Hell no. Nah. Hell no. Nah. We did not make it this far. This this is cheating? Yes, I know. But it is fourth and 14. I get one shot at this. Drop him back. Drop him back. Look it. Look it. Jawan Johnson makes a catch. Running. Oh, he's unstoppable at the moment. Yeah, Timmy toe tap out of bounds. <laughs> I'm just trying to fucking goof it around here. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, what? What? What is this? There are covers. There are uh, not. It's uh, not no, cover three. I'm kind of stupid right now at the moment. I'm sorry. Fires. Alba Camara with the grab. Let's go. Time's ticking. It took me two plays to be able to fix what this entire game was definitely not about. Oh, my God. Justin Herbert about to unlock Omaha. I'm going to, you know, I'm going to hit. I'm going to hit him with some crazy shit right now. Uh, play action pass. Dropping Alvin Kamara over the middle. Okay, not, not over the middle to the right hand side of the field. Hurry up, offense. Hurry up, offense. Why not hurry up, offense? Right, fuck it. Fuck it. Yolo. Hello. All right. Drop it. Drop it. Drop it. Running. 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 Out of bounds. First down. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Yeah. I'm going to. Okay. What I'm going to do here is I'm going to take a knee. Let the clock run. Because I'm not going to take control of who wins this game. We definitely should have lost this game. But that's beside the point. I'm going to let this game rely on the hands of our kicker. All right. Time out. Time out. All right. All right. All right. Evan McPherson. 
<laughs> go out there and win us this ball game, big dog. Go out there win. I swear to goodness, if you miss, slow jump to next play. Evan McPherson laying up. This is oh why 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 did we call a timeout? I called it for us. And now we're icing our kicker. Great, great. Okay, if we okay if we miss, we definitely deserve to lose. Evan McPherson. All right, come on, come on, baby. Three seconds left on the clock. Some Super Bowl cheese like they happen in real life. Kicks it. We advance to the next round with a little help from moi. <laughs> ah! No, stop. Stop. That's game. That's game. No, super sim. Next play. There's zero seconds left on the clock. What are we doing? What's going on? Why is it glitched out like this? I mean, zero seconds left on the clock. You should have brought it out. That makes no sense. It makes no sense. Anyway, whatever, dude. Hopefully, this is not completely fucked. Hopefully, I'm able to jump in. Okay, well, okay. We won the game. We won the game. Okay, cool. Well, how about it, it like it was like zero seconds left on the clock dj oh yeah i'm gonna lay it back to the throw like what are you doing stop stop no wait a minute we are the second seed why are we going up against the we are the seventh seed wow wow we just made the playoffs i was for some reason i was thinking we are the second seed okay well damn now we have to go up against the new york football giants in the conference championship game okay I mean, we are technically the better team, but anyway, I'll see you guys in the game. Look at Tyson Hill right there. You're about to go tackle somebody. Let's go. Let's go. Let's get it. Let's just go ahead and kick off. Can we stop? Can we stop? Okay, big stop. Big stop. We're driving on that field. Put up some points. 7-3. We're currently driving again. Ball at the 34-yard line. Second and six. Come on. Come on. Put up some more points. Let's go. I'll take, okay, I'll take 17. That was a little quick score. Hopefully, it was a little bit of turnover in there, but I helped us out a ton. 17 at the... Who is the quarterback for this team? Who is that? I don't care because we're currently up 20 to 10. Okay, okay. We don't need none of this responding type shit, man. None of this. None of this. Change of possession. Who has the ball? Interception. Jordan Brooks with the interception going the other way. Let's go. Bought the 44-yard line. Change of possession. Can I field goal attempt? At least. Thank you. That's game. That's game. Ain't no reason to stick around here. Ain't no reason to stick around. Who's our quarterback for their team? Let's do change of possession just in case some shenanigans happen. Okay, okay, come on now. Come on now. None of that. 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 Okay, okay. Cool, cool. None of that. I'm about to say, hey, man. Good playing. Good playing. Good playing. Good playing. Good playing. Should have won that. Jacoby Brissett. But no. Hell no. Jacoby Brissett was not beating my boy Justin Herbert, bro. Hell no. 24 for 33 on the day. 264 yards. 72% completion percentage. One touchdown. Alvin Kamara with 105. One touchdown. Uh, nobody over 100 yards receiving, but we did have a touchdown reception from Chris Olave. Top three in tackles, we have Bobby Okiri Key at seven, Marshawn Lattimore at four, Marcus May with four. Inner sacks on the season, sacks on the season, sacks on the game. We had Marcus Davenport at one, Gervin Dexter Sr. with one. Interceptions, we had Jordan Brooks and somebody else. It was too fast. The name's gonna pop up on the screen. You guys can easily just pause it, but I'm just not gonna do that. I'm not gonna do that. Is it me or am I looking like a little bit of orange? I look a little bit of orange. I have no idea why. I'm gonna get. Now, nah, we roll with it, though. We roll with it, though. Let's not worry about it. Let's not worry about it. Who are we facing in the conference title game? We have one team in our way. We are the seventh seed. Can we pull it? Oh. We're going up against a guy that we should have signed in free agency. I'm guessing. I'm guessing. I'm guessing it's going to be Jalen Hurts, right? Who's on the other side of the bracket? That's That would be fun. I haven't faced the Tennessee Titans in the Super Bowl yet. Hopefully, eh, you know what? It's a battle of the AFC South on that side. And one of the NFC South teams are on this side. Okay, cool. Let's go ahead and upgrade our players. We're going to need every bit of uh, boost that we can get for this game. Dude, this is a really, really good team. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. I'll see you guys in the game. Candy 7C pulled it off. We got to pull it off, baby. Let's go. Let's go. All right. All right. All right. All right. No, 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 no. That's what I meant to do. Okay, easy drive from the Philadelphia Eagles. Can we respond? No, we cannot. Oh, we got an interception somewhere in there. Second and six ball at the second and six. Second and two ball at the six yard line. Okay, next quarter. We got a little tutty in there. Okay, okay. Can we respond? We got to be able to respond with anything they do. Okay, okay. We need a we need a like a defense like for real quick though. Can we like put up some stops? All right. Okay, that is not what we need. That is not what we need. Change the possession. Let's go. Tutty twenty eight. 31 we this is this is a battle this is an offensive battle. okay okay i like that i like that team we got it let's go change the possession tutty 
Yes, sir. Ain't no, nothing to be said. Nothing to be said. Change of possession. Gotta slow it down if it gets down to the wire a little bit. Okay. Okay. All right. Change of possession. Let's go. Let's go, Justin. Put this game away. That is, that's not what I mean by put this game away. Okay. That's not what I meant, buddy. Okay, but that's what I meant. That's what I meant, though. Like, I wanted our defense to perform. Now, can we perform in the clutch? That's the real question. Can we perform in the clutch? Unlike our boy, uh, Derek Carr. Because <laughs> Derek Carr should have thrown the ball sooner and we would have been in the, in you know, you know, divisional or conference or something. Alvin Kamara, you know, that's exactly what Derek Carr did when we were stuck in that situation. Just throw it over the middle for God knows what reason. But it is second and seven. It is second and seven. Okay. Let's go. Two minute warning. Two minute warning. I mean, sure. You know what? I could pass in this situation because we have a better quarterback, right? You expect Justin Herbert to not fuck shit up. <laughs> that's, we're, that's what we're hoping he don't do. Second and seven, ball at the 23 yard line. Two minute warning just happened. Happened. Oh, hands it off to Alvin Kamara over the middle. Two hands all the way down the field. Let's go. Yeah, do that. Do that. Yeah. 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 Ne uh, okay. I want to see just in case because if this motherfucker throw an interception, we got a problem. We got a problem out here. You should not be throwing interceptions. Okay. You are a good quarterback. All right. Easy handoff, Alvin Kamara. Easy pickup. Easy. Easy little gallop for a seven yard gains. Let's go. Put this game away. Put this game away. Get these three yards. Put this game away. They only have Jordan Davis in the middle. Jordan Davis, right? Oh my God. Alvin Kamara. 13 inches, I'm about to say. First down, but not first down. Not first down. Not first down. No, no, no. No, no, no. No, no, no. All right. Can we get it now? Inches. Inches. I'm talking. Just QB sneak. Just Q just QB sneak. QB draw. Oh my god! Oh my that oh, oh, that, oh number eleven, Deontay Hardy? Who's this? The Turn around. Oh Deontay Hardy. The name was on the on the damn thing that popped up. For the touchdown. That was a big shocker. I didn't see that happening. Like, why are we going deep with this? No reason. 54 yard touchdown. Let's get it. End the ball game right there. They ain't coming back. They ain't coming back. Hell no. Oh, my bad. My bad. I didn't mean to do all that. My bad. I forgot to change it to fast. Send me fast. My bad. It's totally my fault. 100%. Cross the board. Oh, my. It's so funny because in the first Saint simulation I did, there was a crucial moment like that, and something like that happened, too. I was like, ah, okay. The, thing, the difference between uh, Jalen Hurts and uh Justin Herbert, Jalen Hurts is so fun to use because he's able to run the ball and he's able to be fast. He's accurate and everything like that. That was so fun. Unfortunately, we weren't able to get him in this game, but... He's not even the quarterback for this team, is he? Oh, I was thinking about... For some reason, I was thinking of Jacoby Brissett. <laughs> like, no, stop it. You know what? Let's get both of them in here because both of them actually perform really well. 28 for 34 on the day, 387 yards to Jalen Hurts is 338. An 82% completion percentage to a 70, roughly. Four touchdowns, two touchdowns, one interception, one interception. Rushing, we had Alvin Kamara at 121. Receiving, we had... Let's go our team when it comes to receiving. We had Traquan Smith at 137. Chris Olave at 102. And then you have uh, Deontay Hardy's... I said Delonte Hardy. I'm so sorry if I did that. But 59 with that big touchdown at the end of the game to pretty much put it away. But Jawan Johnson had three receiving touchdowns this game. Okay. Top three, we had Bobby Okiriki, Jordan Brooks, and Paulson Adebo. Is that dude? For real, for real. Carl Granderson had one sack. So did Gervin Dexter Sr. And Bobby Okiriki with a sack himself. Okay. Or an interception. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm about to say, no, he, I meant interception, not, not sack. Whoopsie. Whoopsie, whoopsie. Shy Toodle, uh, you're cool. I don't need to upgrade you. Oh, we put up a cool amount of points in these games, man. That's ridiculous. I'm so happy we beat the Eagles. I'm so, so so happy all right man let's get it let's get it. we have the houston texans in the super bowl out of all teams hopefully we're able to get a lot of a lot of opportunities on offense because i want to be able to use this team this team looks so fun i kind of wish it was jalen hurts though but to, just to mimic what jalen hurts could have been for us we had justin herbert if you guys just so happen to skip to this point in the video okay okay i was just making sure I was just making sure because I don't want people to skip it to this point and be like, why the hell does that have Justin Herbert? That's not realistic. And it's like, boy, I explained it in like the draft. Well, if you weren't there, then don't, don't say nothing. Okay. We have uh, the Houston Texans against the New Orleans. Do these, I mean, they have Josh Allen. That's cool, but they ain't no us. They, uh, I'm about to say, 
Oh yeah, I was about to say. I was about to, they hate us because they ain't us. You know what I mean? So they ain't gonna beat us. Number one, is they do they have a rookie quarterback? Do that, bruh. You funny as hell if you think we're kicking a field goal. And hell no, we're gonna do what the Eagles didn't just go for it. Hell no, nah, you funny as hell. Justin Herbert back in the gun, right? Traquan Smith gonna be open right across the middle. I predicted it. What did I say? Hold it with two hands, please. Thank you. First down. Can I hurry up offense to control this team? Bop. Let me take control of the team and score the touchdown. Please don't not let me do it. Okay, thank you. Thank you. Third and one. Oh, we got to get Chris Olave involved, man. I want to use... I love using this guy. He's so fun to use, man. Deontay Hardy could be the option, but not really. Oh, he is because they have my boy covered. Look at that speed. Number 11. So it's number, it's number 9, 10 at the quarterback position. 11, Deontay Hardy. And then 12, Chris Olave. Oh, dude. Look at that space over the middle, right? I'm going to find Chris Olave because I have no idea where that safety is going. All right, all right, never mind. They guarded him. They guarded him, but I have Jawan Johnson for the tutty, baby. Head down. Head down. Let me take off this damn wire. It's going to bug me. I'm going to try to reach over and hit something. All right, give me the ball back on offense. Give me the opportunities. Give me the opportunities I so desire, man. All right, let's give me some plays randomly. I don't want to keep choosing these same plays over and over again. It's no fun. PA crossers, one of my favorite ones. One of my favorite ones. Hopefully, we can hit the boy Chris Olave over the middle. If not, then that's fine. Okay, okay, pick one. Chris Olave deep walking to I mean it would have been fine if it was a walking touchdown, but it wasn't. It wasn't. My boy is to find him at least once. My boy. My my goal is to find him at least once. At least once, please. I gotta get this boy a tutty in the Super Bowl. Uh draw. Snaps it. Drop it. Drop it. That should not be intercepted, thankfully. Oh my goodness. If, if, the, if that was a I think that was a safety that dropped down. If the safety would have moved over, that would have been intercepted going the other way. Put me on defense. Okay, never mind. As uh, I, I believe we got a turnover. Hopefully, it was an interception. Dude, this is Bryce Young. You gotta be kidding me right now. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. Somebody guard over the top, please. This is Bryce Young. I'm kind of scared. Bryce Young effect in full effect. Uh huh. Uh huh. Nope. Nope. Dropping right here. Yep. You ain't going. Yep. You ain't doing nothing on me, boy. You ain't doing nothing on me, boy. Hell no. And they have Irv Smith Jr., which I mean, not gonna do anything. But I mean, they have Irv Smith Jr. Who do they have? I should have just... I like. I should check out teams before I just start running it. Because, I mean, I didn't even check out their quarterback before I started. Okay, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, yeah, I'm here, too. I'm here, too. That's a sack. Griffin Dexter. Okay. Oh, I kind of thought he was going to get there, but I guess not. He is 9 for 12 on the day. 80 yards. Okay. All right. All right. We're going to... Okay, we got him. We got him. He's not going to score. They're not going to score. This is going to be a double slant on BP-ass play right here. I got him. I got him. I swear to God, if they throw the running back and score, I'm going to be pissed. All here. I'm here. I'm here. I'm here. That intercepted. Oh, you're lucky Tyron Matthew didn't pick that off. Five foot nine honey badger was lurking. He was lurking. Oh yeah, give me that. I'm blocking this for sure. Alright, good attempt, good attempt. Good attempt. I like that. Good attempt. Even though he fell down. I want to see who their receivers are. There's the reason why they made it here. Unless they just got really lucky, but whatever. Bro, give me an opportunity. Alright, third and five. I'll take this. Or not, probably. Lovey Smith is still the coach for some reason. Okay, they should have let that man go, I guess. But whatever. All right, Jordan Brooks, give me something. No, no, we're pressing, we're pressing, 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 pressing. Over the middle, I got him. I got his eye. Wah! What bam? What bam? Okay, nope, nope. Man, okay, we got penalties. Give me the ball in the third quarter. I swear, if you guys don't, that's not fun. I guess I'll keep playing on defense. It's like this game don't want me to play on offense for some reason. Like I'll, I'll play some of the snaps. To be able to get some of the... Uh, oh, I'm here. Okay, fuck. <laughs> I read that, and I was like, I figured the corner can jump. Dude, what the hell is this? Oh, Debo. That was intercepted going the other... You know what? What am I doing? By overall. You have Brandon Cooks on that side. Like, no, stop it. Like, stop it. Stop it. Who's number three on that side? Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, you guys actually ran it. Okay, I didn't expect that. I did not expect that. Okay, 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 cool. You know what? Nah, that's cool. That's cool and all, but like, I want to play on offense. Give me an offense. Or just don't give me an offense. Okay, that'd be that'd be great if I was able to freaking play. Stop it. Stop it. Oh my goodness. Like, bro, let me play. Like, come on. I'm like a five-year-old kid who's watching his brother play on the Xbox. Stop. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Chris Ola. That's it. What? Oh. P. Hello? P.I.? Okay. 
Okay. Like, dang, bro. I hate when it sims the entire game. Like, cool. I, I could realistically just play the entire game. But I'm just not going to do that. Because I'm going to find Chris Olave deep here. Catch. Oh, yeah. Who's number 47? That's low ass ain't going to catch me. Yeah, now we hurrying up offense. Because if we can get a stop, we can get the ball back again. Oh, look. I, I'm going to cook him right here. I'm going to cook him right here. Look, that safety's going to drop. Mm-hmm. 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 Yeah, I told you guys what was going to happen. The safety drop and let Chris Olave go deep over the middle. Yeah, no. Yeah, I'm going to take full advantage of that. All right, kick off because I don't want to do that. All right, cool, 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 cool. Now, yeah, now we're we're playing on defense. Yeah, I want to get another offensive opportunity. Hopefully, that's the case. Uh, who the hell is number 15? What the hell is it? Oh, that's a screen. Oh, yeah, that's, that's how Paul. Okay, you're lucky. You're so lucky. That was house call going the other way, but number 56. Yeah, throw your hands up in the air. Is that Jordan Brooks? That's Jordan Brooks. I was about to say, damn, I signed you and I don't even know who you are? That's fucked up. <laughs> All right. Throw me another screen. Throw me another screen. I'm right here. Nope. Okay. Okay. Dropping. 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 Oh. 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 Oh, you're lucky. You're lucky. You're lucky. And look, these are clinching moments because they should be interceptions, but they're not. Okay. Where is Marshawn? Um, man coverage on him, please, because you are at a better corner. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. Oh. No. Stop it. Stop it. Um. Yes, let's do this. Let's do this. Mm, yes, yes. This is. Oh, weak ass throw. Get that out of here. Hell no. Nah. Hell no, nah. Debo. Yeah. Do you? Do you? Oh, play action pass and hit somebody over the middle. Let's see where is it looking like right now. Yeah, this is gonna be a Teddy watch. I'm predicting right now. I'm gonna let you guys know it's gonna be a touchdown. Okay. I'm gonna let you guys know. Play action pass. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Oh, okay. That is okay. Fuck. Okay. They, they blitz the corner. I seen it coming, right? Like, you know, I said, oh my goodness, before he actually hit me. But, you know, I wasn't able to get that off, unfortunately. But, whatever. That's beside the point. Insubordinate. Childish. All right, Chris Alave. Hut, 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 hut. Nickelodeon. Over the middle. Catch. Two hands. Yes, sir. Hurry up, offense. Hurry up, offense. I mean, we're not going to get it off, sadly. Oh, shit. Damn, I kind of wish we got that off, but we didn't. All right. All right. All right. Give me this play. Give me this play. No, that's not going to be the move. We're going to play action past this to a potentially wide open Chris Olave. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Okay, that's the last time I throw a Tyson Hill. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah! I see my boy Trey Quan right there, right here. Look, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out, check me out. Look, check me out. You thought I was gonna throw a Trey Quan, bro? You thought, you thought? Them? You guys stop. I said Trey Quan, like, oh damn, he sees something. And I was like, no, I was just messing with you guys because I knew Chris Olave was gonna football. I pretty much said it this entire drive, but whatever. All right, and nobody care about the damn field goal attempt kickoff because like, who? Let's be real, you probably could click off if you saw a kickoff every single time I score, which happens a lot. So, oh yeah. I got him right here. Screen? No screen. Okay. Oh. 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 I'm going to dance on your ass. Yeah. Yeah. Who's that? That's not a Debo, is it? Nah, it's Justin Evans. Thank goodness I resigned you. That's so cool. Oh, give me that. All right. Cool. 49 to 20. It is a really, really big lead in the Super Bowl, which kind of sucks because I know you guys wanted a closer game, but that's just not going to happen with me at the helm, man. I lead these teams to Super Bowls and I lead them to wins. Big time wins, not little baby wins. Baby wins are for babies. All right, here. Oh, you guys thought? Okay, where is he? I mean, he caught it out of bounds too, like, bruh. All right. Are you going to keep running this weird ass set with the two tight end set and the two to the right side? Like this, and you guys are pretty much going to do double slant with the running back going deep and these two on the left side going short. Yeah, I pretty much predicted that. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. cool cool like no stop we need to, we need to like stop because all i have to do is like do a cloud flat on that side and then just run protect like the double slants or something on this side like this could be out in and out watch yep in yeah i told you the two of them went in like the outside went in so did the inside the middle one i think went up um dude what is this for me this is a weak ass formation we need to stop texans you guys need to change it up this ain't it you guys got one minute left in the super bowl and you guys are running some janky ass plays like Oh my god. I mean, granted, we're not stopping them, but I mean, stop stop running some boo-boo ass plays, please. 
Thank you. Thank you. This is what you guys should have done a long ass time ago. <clears throat> Who's that receiver? Is that Old Dog Beckham? The starting Shepherd. Okay. Ooh, I guess. All right. It's not the same damn form. It's a trips to the left side of the field with a single tight end. Okay. Okay. And you guys throw. Bah! Okay. Come on, Okiriki. I swear to God. Roughing the passer. Davenport, I respect it and all, but like, no. 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 Just don't, just don't rough the passer, okay? Like, if this is a screenplay and I take it to the crib. Okay, I'm about to say, nope, here, I'm here, Mate, nope, here. Okay, just throw it out of bounds. Number 14, <laughs> okay. I'm about to say, what kind of, what kind of DB number is number 14? Okay, Jordan Brooks, I got this. I got this. Pretty much claps. Claps? Yeah, you ain't, you ain't gonna do some weird ass shit. That's, that's a, okay. Okay. I was trying to intercept that. All right, we bend, but we don't break. We all know I have the greatest goal line defense ever. Yeah, I'm gonna keep it that way. You guys, I swear to God, if you, I'm gonna call timeouts of you, even if I have to. Let's not worry about that. Let's not worry about that. Let us not worry about that. Okay, I'm gonna go hail mary heave because why not? Why not? Um, let's do this. Let's do this. Let's do like my favorite play in this playbook. Where's it at? This one right here. Middle, high, low. We have. The play that should have won us the first time. Should have won us the game the first time we were in the playoffs. But we're running it anyway. Oh my goodness. It, yeah. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, <laughs> oh, he caught it. Oh, that's so funny. And then dropped it. We've all seen that before. Let's not worry about what that is. Damn, Bryce Young had a 70% completion percentage in the game. Okay. Justin Herbert had 60, but that was just me fucking around. 304 yards. Alvin Kamara had 68 um, and then receiving, we had pretty much everybody on fire. Crystal Lobby, 143 on the game with four receiving touchdowns. Uh, top three in tackles, we had Okiriki, 13. Jordan Brooks, 13. Adebo, 11. Dude, Adebo is nice, bro. Gervin Dexter, senior. All right, there. Bobby Okiriki, one sack, two interceptions from Tyron Matthew and Justin Evans. Jordan Evans? Justin Evans. Okay. You guys get the point. I'm trying. I'm trying, I'm trying to remember names. I'm trying to remember names. I can't remember all of them, but I can remember them. Isaiah Oliver, I forget. Oh, you're number 14. You're the one in the game that I was like, who's that? Okay, anyway. Bryce Young is 91 overall. With a superstar. Oh, you gotta stop. You gotta stop it. Stop it. Check out the season recap for the New Orleans Saints. Justin Evans, Super Bowl MVP with the okay, interception return for touchdown. I get it. I get it. I really do, but no. Should have been like Chris Olave or Justin Herbert or something. Uh, Bryce Young, NFL MVP. Zach Taylor, Coach of the Year. Stephon Diggs, Offensive Player of the Year. Defensive Player of the Year went to Vaughn Miller. Uh, Van Dyke was Offensive Rookie of the Year. And Dallas Turner was Defensive Rookie of the Year for the Raiders. Anyway, anyway, anyway. That being said, thank you guys for watching. Uh, I believe the next team we have is like the Arizona Cardinals or something like that. Anyway, a uh, couple things. Uh, I don't know if I mentioned it in the beginning of this video or not, but I am working on a, well, it's like a video, kind of like a vlog from my trip from Chicago where I answer like questions at the end. Uh, that's gonna be for my 1000 subscriber special and we're nearly there. So if you guys can really help me out, drop me some likes and some subscribers, that'd be really, really great. I appreciate that. Anyway, I'll see you guys all in the next video. Till next time, it's comes to you guys. Yeah. I've been lost in your ocean now. I see the waves and they pounding now All I know I'm about to take off Working hard it would pay off I found myself I was feeling lost